Here's the cutting tool that's a three quarter inch bar. Here's the holder for the bar. It has a flat on the end and there's an adapter in the bar that comes out and that's an adapter for half inch holder. Uh, this, this part is mounted uh, into this section which mounts here. Then the entire base is connected to the lathe with the attachment plate. The two bearings are already installed as it is. And then here's the adjustment feature to allow it to move in and out. It's set up for large lathe. This is set for a 24 or 25 inch swing lathe. We use this 12 inch long hollowing bar with a hole all the way through so that we can put a, a long holder or if you get one that has a six inch hole, there'll be a six inch hole here. We can take the holder out and switch it with a different type of holder so that we could use round carbide bits or any custom bit that you would, you would want. And this three quarter inch hole has, comes with adapters. So you can use a five eighths or a half inch holder. So you can pretty much put any cutting tool on the market into this bar. Now you don't have, you're not limited to this size bar. You could even take, you could even take a large hollowing bar like this four foot long bar or any length bar so that you can do very large concave pieces like large bowls or platters or you can use it to do convex pieces as we're demonstrating here using this this small bar and we're, we're going to be able on this 25 inch lathe to to do 25 minus 3 since we have an inch and a half tall body, we'll only be able to do a 23 inch round part maximum. The hollowing bar or the tool holder bar is in place. You can see now we have an adapter which allows us to go something smaller than 5 eighths down uh, with the adapter removed, we can put 5 eighths up to 3 quarter uh, diameter. If you're going to use 5 eighths or smaller without the adapter, you'll need to put in longer set screws. With the set screws removed, we only really need to use two of the set screws, or we could even use one set screw when we're, we're using the larger 3 quarter inch holder. But when the adapter is in place, there are two holes in the adapter. These two holes in the forward and rear set screw will allow the set screws to go through all the way through the hole and contact the holder and you want to use longer set screws which I've supplied. This middle set screw can be removed or left in place but if you look inside you can see there's a black dot and that black dot is marked on the adapter so this second screw holds the adapter in place the other two screws go through a hole in the adapter to contact the holder that slips inside the adapter. So that's an explanation of how the adapter works and how these set screws were designed. You can use the first two set screws if you have a short cutter and the longer distance set screws is for a longer cutter, but really only one screw is probably necessary. We just give you an extra screw to make sure it's secure. In concave turning, we have a long hollowing bar put the base of the sphere turning jig parallel to the ways. It was probably potentially better to place a clamp on the back side. Don't have to remove the bearings since this whole thing rotates. We just rotate it over onto the ways, stabilize it if you feel it's necessary, and then we can rotate the bar to do a large diameter. Because the bottom three set screws are loosened and allow this to bar to rotate there is some play and so it may be necessary to play tool rest in front of the bar at some point to stabilize the bar. We attach a 5 8 and use a power drill to drive the nut. You loosen the bottom screw, loosen the bottom set screw and then you'll be able to turn and adjust finely or you can loosen this top nut screw and do a gross adjustment at this level. So you have two levels. The top level for 
moving the bar itself, the bottom level to remove the leads to move the lead screw. Then when you're turning or using the sphere turns, you want to make sure this is tight at the bottom, this is tight at the top. These two are tight. Now this top screw allows adjustment for the height of your lathe. You can use it on different height lathes or when you have a different cutter that requires a different centering. Then you use the bottom screw, loosen the bottom screw to change the angle so you can come across the grain better. Or if you want to use it locked to the lathe bed, you can put a long bar in here, use a tool rest at the front, and you can rotate from that point to do large platters. We can do a 10 foot diameter platter if we want. And then reverse it. So you can see now with a powered drive we have really nice access to how far in and out 